It once was the site of a massive factory, the beating heart of Flint's automotive history, and the mostly vacant former Buick City property could once again become the city's economic engine. The gears are turning to make that happen. If all comes together, there are predictions of 3,000 jobs, but getting there begins with cleaning up the chemicals left from years of manufacturing. As TV5's Raven Blue reports, the trust overseeing the site offered an update on where that effort stands. The contamination that's here, based on our investigation thus far, has not reached the river. Uh, so what we're trying to do is address it where it is now and prevent it from getting to the river. Racer Trust says it's 30 days away from completing the cleanup of the lagoon at the old Buick City site, where PFAS contamination in the surface water, soil, and sediment was detected, saying it has drained and filtered water out of the lagoon, is working on absorbing the chemical from the ground and preventing the PFAS from entering the sewer system from storm runoff and ultimately ending up in the river. The lagoon sits in a, in a, a thick clay heavy clay deposit so not only are we provide are we treating the soils the sediment and the phragmites uh, for PFAS but it also it sits in a clay basin basically so it provides another barrier to, to migration. The trust has a dual mission to clean the site and to foster and support redevelopment. It will continue to test the property for PFAS and provide the data to Ashley Capital, one of the largest privately owned real estate investment companies in the U.S., so it can develop the property. So they know when they move forward to develop the site, the trust has appropriately managed the environmental issues. In 2015, Ashley Capital worked with Racer to buy and redevelop the site of a former GM plant in Livonia. The site is now home to Amazon and Republic National Distribution Company. The trust has signed an agreement with Ashley Capital to buy 352 acres of Buick City. We're working hard to provide information to Ashley Capital, help their analysis of this opportunity. If all goes to plan, the trust is hopeful for a closing in the coming months. Raven Blue, WNEM TV5.